Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are on the Carnival Magic and we are going to show you a tour of the entire ship and our thoughts on the ship as well. We are going to start at the front of the ship on deck 15. This is the Serenity deck. It's 21 and up and it's an adult area only. It's very quiet and peaceful here. It is really nice. There's a bunch of great Lay down and just have a great time relaxing. Behind me is Carnival Waterworks. This is the water park for the Carnival Magic, and you can see behind me there are two slides and also a water park for the kids. Behind me is Cloud Nine Spa. You can go here for all of your relaxation needs. It's on deck 12 and 14. Right behind Cloud Nine Spa, we have the gym. On deck 12, in the back of the ship, we have Sports Square. There's a bunch of just putt-putt, there's ping pong, a whole bunch of really fun games. And then right above us, we have a ropes course, which is also super fun. Behind me is the Sports Square, so there's a big basketball court here. At the Sports Square, they do all sorts of fun sports competition, and then they also have free time. Right next to the Sports Court is an outdoor gym. There's a, some gym equipment here. It's kind of old. I don't know how many people use it out here, but it is here if you wanted to try it out. Deck 11 at the back of the ship has a ton of outdoor seating. And there's a smoking side and non-smoking side as well. On deck 11 midship, there's just a bunch of open seating. So if you're looking for places to take a seat, here you go. We are at deck 11 at the back of the ship. We have Casina del Capitano. This is an Italian restaurant. It does cost extra, but it's always an option. Right below us on deck 10 at the back of the ship, there's a really nice pool and then there is two hot tubs. Also on deck 10, there's a bar right next to Pizzeria del Capitano. Here they have pizza late at night, so after you're done partying and going to the nightclub, you can go here to get pizza. And if you're wanting some fresh seafood, you can also go on deck 10 to the Seafood Shack. There's a lot of good seafood here. Keep in mind, the Seafood Shack does cost extra. It's not included with the rest of the food. Also on deck 10 is one of the main attractions, and that's the Lido Marketplace, which is the buffet on the ship. Blue Iguana Cantina is an area on the ship that's included. You can get tacos, taco bowls, so many sides and seasonings, and it's amazing. Guy's Burger Joint is another restaurant that's included on the ship, and they make some amazing burgers, so make sure to check it out. Both Blue Iguana and Red Frog are awesome places to get a drink when you're hanging out poolside. The main pool is an awesome place to relax, watch some dive-in movies, and catch some sun. At the front of deck 10, all you have is staterooms, and then all the way from 10 down through 6 is also just staterooms everywhere. So next time we see you, we'll be on deck 5. We are now down on deck 5. This is the promenade deck. Right behind us, they have the theater. That's where they're going to do all the shows at night. And then right behind us over this way is the shopping. Now here on midship deck 5 is the casino. We can't film in there, so next time we see you, we're going to be on the other side at the back of deck 5. In the ocean plaza, there's also Pixels Gallery, so here you can get all of your pictures that the people have taken of you on the ship. Here on the ocean plaza deck, this is where they do all of the dance classes and trivia and lots of other fun stuff too. They also have live Number music three. during the night. Behind me is the Red Frog Pub, so here they have games, they have a lot of drinking, there's a lot of fun that happens here. They're currently close, so we'll put in a clip here, but here is the sushi bar on the ship. Right behind me is Plaza Cafe. Here you can get some sweet treats, coffee, and all sorts of things like that. So if you are looking for a place to relax outside that's maybe a little bit less busy than upstairs, Deck 5 has an awesome seating area outside all around the ship. There's also a couple hot tubs here, so if you're looking for that place, here it is. Our favorite restaurants is right here on Deck 5 outside as well. They only do it on days when you're at sea, but it's called Guy's Pick and Anchor, and it's just barbecue, chicken, mashed potatoes, you name it, they got it. 
right behind us inside towards the back of the ship we have vibe during the daytime it's the art gallery and then at night it turns into a nightclub at the back of the ship here on deck five inside we have the play it again piano bar this is where the piano player comes takes requests plays all sorts of awesome music you can sit down and have a great drink and at the very back on deck five we have spotlight lounge and that's where you're going to see all of your really funny comedians if you're looking for a fancy night dinner you can go to the prime steakhouse we are now on deck four the back of the ship this is the mezzanine deck right behind me we have southern lights restaurant this is the main diner for the ship it's on deck four and then also so on deck three. So Club O2 is right here behind me. That's the area for the kids and for the teenagers to hang out. There is also a really awesome arcade on this floor. The casino also extends into deck four as well. There is also a library on this ship right behind us. So if you're looking to just read a book, play some games, this is a great place. Deck 4 is a continuation of the Pixels Gallery, so here you can find all your pictures. You can also buy accessories for cameras or photo albums and lots of other things too. We're now on Deck 3. Here you're going to find guest services, so if you had anything that you needed help with, you can come here. The Showtime Theater is also on Deck 3. Here is where you'll find all the shows from the Playlist Productions and the Love and Marriage Game Show and lots of other shows too. Also on Deck 3 is the Atrium. Here a lot of fun stuff happens. There's live music and there's a lot of lounge seating and there's a bar as well. So that is it for the cruise ship tour. Hopefully this helps you guys kind of navigate your way around a little bit more. The only thing that we thought about the ship is we definitely, we like the ship. It is older, it reminds us of like the dream, but just not as new, which is totally fine. It hasn't been, looks like it hasn't been refurbished in a while. It also said that it had been refurbished whenever we looked it up in 2021, and it does not look like that at all. We'll have clips where you can see where it just looks very run down and, and it was just surprising to us I feel like seeing that it said that it was refurbished recently. Yes, yeah, so it's not like the age of the ship or like the decorations look bad it's just a lot of areas that do look really run down kind of not the cleanest and that's the only thing that I have like that I don't like about this ship but overall I said the people are nice the staff's cool the ship is great I said it's just some of the amenities are a little bit run down. The ship is almost identical to the Carnival Dream and we've been on the Dream and it wasn't even too long ago maybe mm -hmm. six months ago from today and it was so so much nicer than this one even though it's pretty much the exact same ship the layout is almost exactly the same and so we recommend that if you are thinking about maybe the dream or the magic we would go with the dream Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.